Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your late hump day reading. Sorry, Mercury Retrograde continues to work its magic. <laughs> so thank you for being here. I'm just doing some quick reads, and I'm not even saying a word. I'm not taking it. We're going to see if it's meant to come out. It'll come out while I'm actually doing this, because that was the first shuffle. Yes, I shuffled before, but you know. So Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know? And Scorpio, if this resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notifications. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, so. Okay. Any other cards for Scorpio? Any other cards for Scorpio? Yeah, let's see, and this is a stop. Oh boy, sorry. Okay. Okay, so, haha. -ha. Judgment. Well, that's good. Look at that. Page of Wands. Ooh, this is an announcement. This is all, this is a new start. This is a, a great beginning. Working hard. And, you know, a lot of times I see that the Four of Cups is not seeing an opportunity. And I think that in this case, because you have the Nine of Pentacles, I think you saw the opportunity and that's what you're working so hard on. I think that this is you with a whole new opportunity and the Nine of Pentacles is wonderful because look at that. I mean, you're doing well. So money is doing well. She's standing in a, a vineyard and there's lots and lots of, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Oh, Mercury is killing me, but you know, so, and the queen of pentacles, she is, <sighs> I apologize, stupid Mercury. Could be a dark-haired uh, person. Um, it's a symbol of fer fertility. I mean, look at all the, the vegetation. There's abundance. Um, and she's very generous. So I think that you are you're doing great. Scorpio, to me, it just looks like success. That's all I can say. I don't know why, but that's what is hitting me. And that's what I want to say. And judgment is a fresh start. That's what I was trying to, I, I just read this and I, my mind, bleh, um, time to forgive and forget, uh, do some soul searching, promotion. So this to me is your new start, Scorpio. You're starting something new. You are, you know, page of wands. He is there, you know, and you're working hard. And the four of cups could be a gift that, you know, in some cases, it's something you don't see. And because you have the nine of pentacles afterwards, I think you do see it. And if you have felt like you're missing something, I'm going to say, look around. Really open up your eyes and look around you because there's something you're missing that is a gift. And it is something maybe you haven't realized that is special that you have, Scorpio. So can I get a outcome card? I mean, this looks great. I can't see of anything better, really. Anything else for Scorpio? No, I just got a no, so no. So what'd you get? Nine of Cups, that's your dream, that's a wish come true. That's the wish card with the Ace of Pentacles. Holy, wow, okay? This is a new start that, that leads to your dream come true. This is what I was talking about, this is it. You're working hard, you're putting in the work, and Scorpios, every Scorpio I know works really hard. So Nine of Cups, is your wish fulfillment and it's next to the nine of pentacles. You are on the path and the ace of pentacles. So I'm going to look at the ace of pentacles because wow. And the ace of pentacles is <laughs> here come pennies from heaven, anticipate a new career, sudden prosperity, opportunities for tremendous growth. You're on the right path, Scorpio. I am stopping right there. This is the second now, I believe, my Sunday reading said that you had a wish come true. You also had another wish card. So 
Keep up the good work, Scorpio. And let me see. I've been pulling a Romance Angel Oracle card. You got two. I'm going to roll with it. It has nothing to do with this. This is business, career, finances, whatever you're starting. Or if you're even starting to think of something new, do your due diligence. But this might be your wish. This might be the new start you've been looking for. Okay, and your Romance Angel cards are forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present. And soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. What I want to say to this is this card for me, forgiving and learning, when you do anything in business and everything else, you learn and you move on and you move forward. And soulmate card, to me, could be your sole purpose because I think 2020 is so much about finding where we belong and what we should be doing that to me i almost want to say that you're finding your sole purpose in your career or your finance whatever you're doing so thank you so much for being here scorpio good luck please if this resonates you got to tell me down below hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification thank you again awesome read